come down. We appreciate you. So Dr. Sorry, Marcus Garvey said, there is no force like success. And that is why the individual makes all effort to surround himself throughout life with the evidence of it. As of the individual, so it shall be for the nation. For the first time, our city has given us the proclamation to represent Emancipation Month Canada. Can we please have a round of applause? Here to present the proclamation, can we please welcome back to the stage my elder, Anania Aydeli. from the Confronting Anti-Black Racism Unit and the City of Toronto. There's nothing better for me than to see black people in City Hall. Nothing, there is like nothing. I just love that we take up space because you know for a long time we weren't taking up space here, yeah? We weren't taking up space here and um, I mean, if you belong here, and part of the work that we're doing at the Confronting Anti-Black Racism Unit is to make sure all of us know and everybody knows that we belong here. We belong here, we've been here for over 400 years, so for sure, for sure, we belong here. And um, our work, therefore, is to make sure that we are in decision-making uh, positions, and not just first-line, first front, front line positions, but in decision-making positions both in council and the bureaucracy. But I want to give you, I'm going to be very brief. I had a chat with uh, Do It. In fact, we wanted, the Fronting Anti-Black Racism Unit wanted to do the flag raising. And so we put the application in because we have to do that just like everybody else. And they said, oh no, no, somebody else has already done that. And so we can't do both. I knew right away that it was Do It. And so we connected and said, let's, let's support you in making this done well. And he and I had a conversation in my office, and he started to talk to me about his dream uh, of, of Emancipation Month. And we thought, why not have this as a proclamation at the city, in the municipality? We know that our elder, Rosemary Sadler, is working really, really hard federally to make Emancipation Day a federal election, a federal day, a federal holiday. We know that, right? And we have to continue to push so that that happens. And, in the, and we're going to push from the city side as well. But the work that Do It is doing around Emancipation Month and acknowledging us and, and, and celebrating the work that our, uh, the resilience of our people, we wanted to make sure that we uh, got the proclamation done here at City Hall this year and, and the year forward as we work towards the holiday for Emancipation Day. So I want to, I'd like you to join me in inviting Do It to the stage. Do It Lee the third. to hear what it's saying. For the record. Uh, rotating on the um, screen right there as you walk out. For the so camera. It's, it's there. Uh, I'll read it off, off camera because it is kind of long. And the truth is, um, these are not all of our words. These are very powerful words, but these are not all of our words. Um, I will certainly add it. Marcus Garvey's name in here and uh, many other leaders like Rosemary Sadler, Jean Augustine, Honorable Jean Augustine, and and so many others uh, whose names should be here. Um, but it's the, the unknown names that we are fighting for, and I, I will keep this very brief, and I just wanted to share this moment with um, Mr. Dennis Scott. If I would ask you to come up here and take this moment, um, because Mr. Dennis Scott um, is, the first, is, is the first one to reach out to me and 
say, sir, we need to bring this Emancipation Month movement to my city. And he knocked down major doors in Burlington, Ontario. And it was to my surprise that without any of my pressures, and listen, I called Mr. John Tory a lot, emailed him a lot, and his private email and his regular email, okay, to get things done. Because it's important that we have communication with our community and our elected officials. And I must say that Mr. Scott took it upon himself to put the pressure on the government and of the municipality of Burlington and make sure that the very first Emancipation Month was proclaimed there. So you will always be part of the support of the Queen of Emancipation Month. No, please just one more moment. Um, I will say this, that we have launched, as we do every Emancipation Month, our Emancipation Proclamation. And very simply put, it's a list of demands and things that, on behalf of the people who I feel, whose pain I connect with, present and future, um, these are the changes that we want to see happen for the African diaspora, specifically here in Canada. And I must say that last year we put on our proclamation that we would no longer accept the term minority that we are a global people, and we are a majority if you look at the big picture. It's time to give that title to another class of people, like racists. And I believe racists fit, the, the, fit the, that description of minority much better than we. Um, this year, we have several things in our Emancipation Proclamation. It includes cannabis and amnesty, because if we're not talking about freeing our brothers and sisters in jail, then what kind of emancipation are we talking about? And not just Canada, Emancipation Month connects all of our brothers and sisters in the UK, all of our brothers and sisters across the Caribbean Islands, South Africa. All of those who were free when the Emancipation was first introduced in 1834. So I will say that our list is long. It includes working with the community on a very powerful initiative to rename a portion of College Street, Marcus Garvey Way. Sandy, I want you to wave your hand. wanted to open opportunities for the community to be involved because we want you all to be present as we make up from Augusta on College Street all the way to Nelson Mandela Boulevard, known as Marcus Driving. So I will encourage you to visit our website emancipationmonth.com for more details of our Emancipation Proclamation 2019. And I'd like to introduce Miss the Queen of Emancipation Month 2019. Everyone please put your hands together for Rita. This will be the last time I'm in the microphone problem today, so if I can just please acknowledge my wife, Suzette Fidel, yes. over there. Thank you so much for all your work. It's an amazing atmosphere. Um, I'll also, of course, like to acknowledge Shekina. She is the director of our Artist Archives. The other initiative that we will be launching is the Black Archives, excuse me, the Archives of Black Lives. And it is a uh, collaborative effort with Archives of Toronto, where we'll be finally putting our history in the records so that a hundred years from now, when they talk about this moment, there'll be a physical place for them to see that. And, and of course, uh, Lisa, thank you so much. You've been, what's it, hasn't she been full of grace and information and power? And of course, all the guardians that are here, I uh, want to recognize all the division four, two, three in Buffalo. Thank you for believing me. Thank you for giving me the responsibility as chapter of the division four, two, three. I was proud to open up the chapter here in, in, in Toronto and represent the Garveyites all over the world. Thank you, everyone. And uh, we'll be just oh, not completely. <laughs> thank you so much because you are on my thank you list. <laughs> You are on my list, right? So I just wanted to go down the list and thank everyone, of course. And uh, we all know that the work that Brother Sim has put in um, is tirelessly deserving of our applause and respect. I thank him for um, everything that he's done. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, congratulations. Ms. Rosemary Scott, for all the work that she has done. We are a team. This is a village. Uh, we'll be remiss without recognizing Mr. Ken Jeffers, everyone.
Mr. Freedom Fighter himself we would, we would not be here at this point right now, sir, if it was not for you. We lift up that flag, and when we lift up that flag, we consider all of the work that you have done. I want to thank the confronting anti-black racism organization, um, and also we have our special descendants that arrived here today. So all the way from Hamilton, can we please put our hands together for Eric Alexander, the granddaughter of our very own, the Honorable Lincoln Alexander, who was present today to help us raise the flag. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so touched by everyone for being here um, and making this moment happen. All right, and Del, you so Del. I want to thank the artists who, are, who stepped up to help us bring the art because emancipation is all about expression and we're going to do it with art. And this is why it's so important that our young people learn of the struggles and successes of our ancestors from Jamaica to Grenada to Trinidad and Tobago to South Africa so that we can inspire the next generation to tell their stories in creative means that will impact the future. So thank you again. Thank you. 